More than a dozen communities receiving stern warnings from Governor Cuomo today comply with the state's COVID-19 restrictions or risk facing a shutdown. I want a quick response from the public and the private schools and the local governments. Mass compliance, gathering compliance, restaurant compliance, it has to be done by the local governments. The governor not wasting any time said he would immediately issue 200 rapid testing machines to any of the zip codes experiencing this spike. The impacted areas span from Broome, Rockland and Orange counties down to Kings and Queens County here in New York City. Within the affected zip codes in Brooklyn, infection rates range from 6 to 17 percent. At one glance, what becomes obvious is most of these neighborhoods consist of Orthodox Jewish New Yorkers. Whether you're uh, Jewish, Catholic, Muslim, I said last week, it applies to everyone equally. Public health is public health. We first saw the warnings go out from the New York City Health Department last week, saying the number of COVID-19 cases in several Brooklyn and Queens neighborhoods were alarming. But everyone in New York City uh, does not speak English only. We have to communicate with people where they are in the different languages. Adam says on the city's part, he is not seeing urgency. He believes city health department officials should already have a visible presence in these neighborhoods. We often state that maybe the uh, constituents have let their guards down, but I'm hoping the city has not let its guards down. You know, and I have to say, in the short time that we've been here in the Midwood section of Brooklyn, just driving along Ocean Parkway to get to our live shot, we did notice a significant number of people simply not wearing masks. Masks not a prevalent sight here. It is a big reason why the Brooklyn Borough President says tomorrow he will be out with folks from the community, with folks who will speak the language that is appropriate in the neighborhoods he is in passing out masks and making sure the message is clear that the danger of COVID-19 is not gone from New York City. This is still a public health crisis.